Hi guys, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with SPSS and how to perform I suppose operations and <coughs> run procedures within SPSS uh, is going to concentrate on a question that a uh, you know that often uh, arrives on my desk when I'm when I'm I suppose when I'm uh, dealing with uh, students that are doing master's dissertations and so on and in particular students that are using psychometric scales uh, to assess particular conditions and and so on and so forth is okay I have a scale uh, and is it possible for me to identify a cutoff point on the scale uh, where the cutoff point should demarcate, should be a clear demarcation of those people that have a specific condition? and those compared to those people that don't have a specific condition and for this video uh, I'm going to use a particular a particular scale just to I suppose to help uh, conceptualize what we're trying to do uh, it's what's known as the job satisfaction scale okay the job satisfaction scale is a particular inventory uh, that contains it contains 10 items yeah okay so if you were to take this particular job satisfaction scale it's a self reported scale uh, individuals uh, answer questions 10 questions 10 items and based off those particular i suppose those particular responses to the 10 items uh, we assign them an overall an overall value or an overall score with respect to what the scale is trying to measure okay in this case the job satisfaction scale has 10 items okay it's an it's a 10 item inventory okay uh, and if we just look at this the this composite score here variable okay called job satisfaction okay Every individual, every participant has answered each of the 10 questions and they've been given an overall score on the particular scale. Okay. Let's just actually draw a draw a, a I suppose a histogram of the characteristics of this particular distribution, just so that we can actually uh, familiarise ourselves with the, with the actual distribution itself. So I'm just going to go to graphs, legacy dialogues, histogram, and actually what I'm going to do is a histogram of just job satisfaction. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK here. Okay. So when I hit OK, I get the histogram for job satisfaction, and you can actually see the scores on this particular scale uh, range from from one up to up to around five. Okay, uh, a low value uh, would be in, in indicative. Uh, a low value of uh, in this ca in this case would be indicative uh, that you are satisfied okay and a high value would be indicative oh sorry I'm, I'm, I'm actually wrong here a low value on this particular scale would be uh, an, indica an indication that you are not satisfied and a high value on this particular scale would be an indication that you are satisfied okay and uh, so the scale is ranging from one up to around five okay uh, let's just go back into our data set here but really what i would like to be able to do is i'd like to be able to find a point on this scale okay actually let me go back into the into into the histogram okay i'd like to be able to find a point on this scale a demarcation point okay uh, let's say for example three if that was the point okay that anybody above three is satisfied and anybody below three is dissatisfied with respect to their job okay uh, so i'm wondering what is the demarcation point along this particular scale that that differentiates between those that are satisfied and those that are not satisfied with respect to their with respect to their particular jobs okay so we we apply this particular inventory we create a composite score with respect to job satisfaction and every individual has a particular job satisfaction score for example the first res uh, respondent here has a job satisfaction of uh, 4.40 meaning they are satisfied well they're very they're 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 high on the satisfaction scale uh, this particular individual here has a job satisfaction of 3.90. This individual here has a job satisfaction of 2.10, meaning that they're not really that satisfied. Okay, so that's the, what we did. That's how we captured the data. But we also asked another question, another self-reporting question, and the question was, uh, "Are you satisfied with your job?" And the answer could be either yes or no. So now what we have is we have two measures. We have a measure of satisfaction that's been taken from, that's been composed or created from the 10 item inventory, the job satisfaction scale inventory. And we have a self-reported value uh, from the actual respondents themselves on whether overall they actually feel satisfied or dissatisfied with respect to their, to their own work, with respect to their own job. So what I like to do is I like to try to be able to find a cutoff point on this particular job satisfaction scale. And it's actually straightforward to do that within SPSS if you have a scale 
Okay? And if you have, let's say, one of these, if you have a criterion variable, okay, uh, that uh, is associated with that particular scale, that lets us know how the respondents actually feel, whether it's a yes or no, uh, with respect to, in this case, satisfaction. To do the analysis, I suppose what we're going to rely on is what's known as a rock curve, a receiver operator characteristics curve. Okay, it's a curve that has a little bit of history associated with it. Uh, it goes back to the days of, I suppose, when we had uh, radar stations that were we had men sitting in front of uh, radar radar screens, and blips would come up on the screens, and it was their job to try to identify based on the blip whether this was an enemy coming in to bomb. A particular a particular location or not so in some cases they got it right in some cases they got it wrong okay so we had this concept of true positive uh, identification and then we had this concept of false positive identifications uh, true negative identifications of targets and false negative identifications of targets so the question was is it possible for us to optimize the scale and you'll find this point uh, that maximizes uh, our true positive rate and also maximizes our true negative uh, identification rate. Okay? This is actually what's known as sensitivity and specificity. Uh, these are just, I'm just, just two words that I'm mentioning here. Uh, by definition, sensitivity uh, is, I suppose, how good a scale is at correctly identifying those particular individuals with a specific condition. So it's how good a scale is at identifying true positive, uh, true positive uh, characteristics. Uh, specificity, by definition, is how good a scale is at correctly identifying those without a specific condition. In other words, how good is the scale at identifying true negative uh, characteristics? And to do this, we use a rock receiver curve. Okay, and let me show you how to do this in SPSS. We go to analyze. We go down to rock curve. We choose rock curve. Uh, we have our test variable. In this case, the variable I want to find the demarcation point for is job satisfaction. Okay, and we have what's known as a state variable. Okay, uh, this is a dichotomous variable. Okay, uh, that's either yes or no, zero or one. Okay, that tells us. I suppose it's the gold standard. Let's say for argument's sake. Yeah, this best measure in relation to whether somebody uh, has the condition or does not have the condition. In this case, for us, it's a self-reported value. Okay, which is whether they're satisfied with their work so I'm going to put the state variable in here okay the state variable being the cotmus zeros and ones yeses and noes and then I'm going to specify the value of the state variable okay actually the value what goes in here is the value for the presence of the condition okay in this case whether they're satisfied or not and the way we've coded it up actually let me just cancel this here and go back into variable view okay you can actually see that the satisfied variable, satisfied with work, has been coded as zero to represent no, the absence of the condition, and one to represent yes, the presence of the condition. One meaning they are satisfied, zero meaning they're not satisfied. So let's run the analysis. Let's go to analyze. Let's go to rock curve. Uh, let's specify the test variable. This is the variable, once again, that I want to find this demarcation cutoff point for. Uh, let's define the state variable, in this case, satisfied with work.